More and more satellites supposed to be sent up by Starlink, Elon Musk. Uh, why? Why are there so many satellites being sent up? Well, they told us why. <laughs> There's nothing hiding. I get it. Um, but is the news that everyone's telling us true? You know, what's going to happen? You know, 5G, I'm worried about that myself. Uh, I won't be getting into it, that's for sure, because we ain't allowed talking about it. But let me tell you, I really don't trust the fact all these satellites are around us. Electromagnetic frequencies. What else is going on, ladies and gents? It just so happens that what I posted yesterday, um, I wake up this morning and I see they're talking more and more about something occurring on the sun, right? They say the sun launched an explosion um, of electromagnetic energy towards, yep, towards Earth. Geomagnetic storm watch was issued. So that's pretty interesting to see what's going to occur with that. And at the same time, these lunar waves, hey, let's look at them a little closer than yesterday. I don't want to get too close, but they're trippy as hell. I really, really like showing them like that. Really a good angle to be able to see the lunar waves and lunar ripples. So what are they? It's still unknown, ladies and gents, but let me tell you that NASA and, well, never mind NASA, scientists, yeah, NASA and scientists are saying that it could be the solar uh, flares, like, right? It's coming from the sun that we can see this uh, passing over top. Or they t you hear scientists talk about an explosion out deeper in space that could happen. Geomagnetic storms, very dangerous. I'm not going to get into it at all, all the dangers. Just keep your eyes and ears opened up. They're talking about it um, on online, on the television. We'll see how long that takes to hit Earth. Um, again, not going to fight over it. A CME takes a couple of days. Some of you are telling me it doesn't take a month. I get it. I, I No problem with that. Um, it can occur that it's a lot longer than that in a couple of weeks, depending on what's going on. Someone says it's a giant piece of plasma coming off the edge of the sun. Damn right it is. It looks like a spaceship. Sure, it looks like the Star Trek spaceship. <laughs> right, Dana? But in reality, it does look like it's fueling up off the bloody sun, too. It's it's just amazing to get the chance to see that. Some silly guy in the comment section said, Bruce, old news. We don't want to hear about it. Well, they're still studying 2003 CMEs. It's, they're still not understood. And look at that. By doing forward and back, all the details that we can see on the sun. I just love looking at this. Uh, capture and uh, it didn't get a lot of attention here so obviously I'll be bringing it up several times don't you worry about that that's the joy of having a lot of documentation and we're able to go back and analyze it especially with current events going on that's why I'm going to plunge back into the sun I can't wait till fi Friday's live stream we're gonna have a good live stream guys gals we're gonna talk about a lot of stuff um, I want to talk about a lot of theories about what I believe is around us uh, outside of this world we live in and stuff i'm going to share some really cool theories and some actually new theories have been popping into my mind especially with obviously along with you all i'm sure all the new things that are occurring i don't know about you guys but a lot is making sense now that we're seeing a lot more things that we shouldn't be seeing in the news etc so look at this guys it's an angel falling head first to earth uh, i don't know but it's definitely a shape and form did you see that frame just over that one there Absolutely incredible. This is the clearest I've ever shown it. This is an object spiraling down to the moon that's in color. There's smoke coming off of it. There's also colors, refraction or not, that we're seeing. It looks like there's lots of colors on that object coming down. And like I said, not the regular refraction I would see for a meteor. No blues and all these pinks and greens and uh, reds. Uh, you know, more or less when it's spiraling down it's a white puff of smoke with yellow or red and now we're seeing all these colors so what i'm trying to say is that hey that object was a colorful object and you know umuamua shape that's for sure and again i showed this the other day the i, I say the rope with two knots at the end so that you understand uh, what i mean like shooting a boomerang you know in the sky you could clearly see it's a long object so guess what <laughs> is that one of the fueling um, lines or tanks that uh, the big ships fuel off? No, obviously not. But yeah, right? Do you understand how much I'm I'm amazed by everything that we've been seeing in space? They're talking about now, you know, the sun, the second sun, the moon. The National Geographic admits uh, to there being other moons and suns and stuff. It just seems that 10 years ago, this didn't exist. And even science itself, which... 
what we're talking about on Cindy's live stream. I've said it many a times, you know, science is only a theory. I've said it all month and all last month. And like Cindy says herself on the video, she goes, I believe it's all theoretical. So anything is possible. It's from what I understood what she was trying to talk about, which is absolutely true. There's the object really close up. Really cool seeing it bending like that, a large object and, you know, space debris, a fueling pipe <laughs> from a big UFO. Our sun is 864,000 miles in diameter, they say, and 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit on the surface. Yeah, that's not very hot compared to the outer layers and corona, etc. A great big difference. Our sun's a bright hot ball, they say, of hydrogen and helium at the center center of our solar system now it doesn't look like much but i want those who really have no idea uh, to understand what's occurring right now this could be a logically plasma detaching just like a retina detaches from an eye and it's the same thing in general for you to understand uh, there's either the the you know it it does it look like it's fueling up yeah it freaking does but again it could be just plasma but you can never rule out that this could be a spaceship. Why not? Right? I keep both options open. And again, people are going to read me wrong. This could be just regular plasma. But do you understand? Let's see it one more time. This is what they say is coming towards Earth right now. Depending on how long it's going to take, there's a lot of controversy around uh, the time. But in general, when you look it up online, it says from three to seven days, six days, different areas. There's a situation I spoke about the last time that was three weeks, actually almost a month. Um, and that's what's coming towards Earth. How dangerous is it? Very dangerous. But if it was large enough to get through, right, inside of the dome, if you want to call it that of earth it could be dangerous d devastating but in general solar flares and cmes pose no direct threat to humans earth's atmosphere is supposed to protect us from the radiation of space weather if an astronaut out in space would be bombarded outside during um an outside trek like they usually do on a space station with the high energy particles from a CME if they would hit that astronaut he or she could be seriously injured or killed but supposedly most of us won't have to worry about that situation here on earth then God said let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters this God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. CMEs, coronal mass ejections, and coronal clouds. I'm going to explain that really properly in this video. So what we saw yesterday is actually what's in the news this morning. They're talking about electromagnetic storms. And I want to show you all and explain to you all uh, what exactly I captured coming out, out of the sun, basically. It's massive. Um, the Earth, 109 times smaller than the sun. I thought it was even more than that, but still, it's a lot, 109 times. But a massive coronal, uh, coronal mass ejection, we're going to go see that. So basically, the coronal cloud is what leaves and what is dangerous to get to Earth when it reaches Earth. And we're, we're going to go see that in the footage I captured and I showed yesterday, but at least I'm gonna show the footage with a very detailed explanation of exactly what we're seeing. Why? Because we're seeing a coronal mass ejection in the video and we're, we're even seeing the coronal cloud. So what we're looking at here is a solar event they call it coronal cloud this is what a nasa declares being a coronal cloud so let's take a look at that and this is what's detaching from the sun and you're going to see a bit down the road here i'm going to get an arrow up on my cloud and 
ejecta, because it's literally ejecta, right? When they talk about an asteroid strike pff, and they say ejecta, what flies up. This is basically plasma too. And it, it's what's dangerous to come towards Earth is that coronal cloud. Coronal cloud is basically hot plasma gas surrounding a coronal mass ejection. And this is what we're seeing right here, uh, leaving the sun. It's usually made up of protons and electrons. When a coronal mass ejection occurs at the Earth's sun, um, it is the coronal cloud that usually reaches Earth and causes damage to electrical equipment and space satellites, not the ejection of flare itself. The damage is mostly the result of high amounts of electricity moving through the atmosphere. That's what's coming. A uh, coronal cloud is released when a solar flare becomes a coronal mass ejection. So in this footage, we see everything. We see the coronal, uh, we see the solar flare beginning uh, at the beginning, and then we see it becomes a coronal mass ejection. And then uh, the coronal cloud uh, often contains more radioactive particles. And that's what we're seeing leaving to head towards Earth way back in 2017. And um, a coronal mass ejection occurs when a solar flare becomes so hot that it snaps and breaks in two, becoming a rope, they call it, of heat magnetism that stretches between two sunspots. Pretty cool. So when I started filming this and I started doing my research, I had no idea how comets, asteroids, solar flares, coronal mass ejections, and coronal clouds were dangerous. You know, the ozone layer, I'm still learning. I'm learning all the time. But what I wanted to do is be able to present just a glimpse for one person to be able to see with your own eyes something leaving the sun. And for me, it remains something very fascinating. Thanks for watching, everyone, and heads up in the sky. Be watching the skies. You never know what's going to go by. Thanks for watching. If it wasn't for my amazing community, this channel wouldn't even exist. Thanks a whole bunch, everyone. I really appreciate it. Slow disclosure is in progress. More information will be coming a lot more.